What's going on people? Welcome to the United Stand. Flex is back. Back again. Guess who's back? I'm back. I am back on the United Stand. Not that I really ever left, but you know, you know what I mean. Um, we are on our way. I'm on a road trip, not on the way to Old Trafford, obviously. Um, but I'm going to tell you more about where I'm going. I know you don't all know where, but before we do that, I've got to talk about Paul Pogba. He's made it to the plane. He's made it um, with the squad um, on the tour of Asia. Not looking very happy. He had a face like a slap task, to be honest with you. <laughs> it looked like he just could not be bothered to be on there. However, you know, I was looking at all the, the fan opinion online, as you do, talking to some of you lot on Instagram, Twitter. Half of the fan base was uh, leave him, let him rot in the reserves, let him stay with the under 23s. Why does he? Why does he need to go on the tour if we're going to sell him? Surely it's better for him to stay in the country so that they can sort out a deal. The other half was more like, actually, get your ass on that plane. You still play for our football club. How about you stop um, disrespecting us? Um, you're, you're paid vast amounts of money and your ass better be on that plane. For me, uh, I kind of want him to be on the plane, to be honest. More of the fact that, look, he said he wants to go. First of all, you don't know my thoughts. He's got to go. He's got to go this window. I've been one of his biggest supporters and I'm not really interested in going into why I've supported him and all that. You don't know my thoughts and feelings and it's boring now, it's boring. We know the, the, what's happened, has happened. The main thing is from the day that he said in Japan, Hong Kong, China, wherever it was, um, that uh, he wanted to leave and he found a new challenge. For me, that's it, he, he, there's no turning back. He's past the point of return. Whatever I may think or however disappointed I may be or you at home or whatever, or even if you don't care, you might think good riddance, that's great. The fact of the matter is, Paul Pogba needs to leave Manchester United, however, we need to get the best deal for him. We need to get the best deal for him. And I know that we haven't been run greatly as a business, but um, you've got to think of it. If United have this player that we need to offload, being Paul Pogba, who's the superstar poster boy, you know, he's the pin-up Adidas boy. He's been around the world doing stuff. He hasn't even really had a, um, a rest. He's been off promoting his Adidas stuff in, in Asia already and America. If we've got this type of player and we leave him at home in the under 23s, I just don't think that looks, I don't think that looks very good. I think it makes us look desperate um, to offload him, which technically we might know we are, that's fine. We know we might need him to go and everyone at Man United at the top might know he has to go. But you can't just put him in the shop window and say, oh, anyone take him, we just like, like an Anatovic. Look at, look, at, look at what West Ham done with Anatovic. They've basically come out and said that they had to accept a terrible deal because it got so toxic, everyone just wanted him out of the cup. We're trying to avoid that with Paul Pogba and obviously, Paul Pogba is way is, is much bigger. He's a much bigger player than than an, an Alvich worldwide. He's going to get a lot more money for him, obviously. So we don't want to have an an Alvich situation where it's absolutely toxic and the club just wants to get rid of him at any cost and will take stupid amounts of money. We can't do it. We've got to reinvest in our squad and the way that it's being run. Yes, we've got a transfer kitty, but you can't trust the Glazers um, and the transfer budget that we can let Paul Pogba go for cheap and still have a lot of money to spend on players. I'm assuming that the best part of 120 million-ish is what we're gonna get for Paul Pogba. And that needs to be reinvested back into the squad. So we have to get the most amount of money that we can for him, you know? And even though we might, the same thing that goes with Lukaku, we might not want him to stay, but you can't, I know people are saying, whatever, just let him go for 30 million, just get him out, he's crap. I get that, but we still need to be a business. And because our squad is so bad at the moment, uh, in quality wise we need every penny we can get so I understand why he's on the tour and I think he should be on the tour it is weird he's already been to Asia promoting himself promoting Adidas and he didn't look happy he had a face like a slap task you know there's no pictures of him in terms of with the boys putting it up his Instagram stories are not there as yet anyway by the time this goes out there might be but it isn't there it isn't there so it doesn't look great because he, he isn't that bubbly Paul Pop. oh look at me I'm getting on the plane like he would normally he wasn't dancing his way to, the, to Manchester Airport, but he's there. And I think that shows, at least by the club, that they're stamping their foot down and saying, well, you got all this shit going on, but get your ass on the plane. I personally would rather see that. I know there's a lot of you that, that, would, that would say, just leave him, let him, trans let him get the transfer done in England. But for me, him being in um, China and across, across Asia, sorry, during this, this time, I don't think that makes a transfer not possible or slows it down. There's rumors that Woodward's gonna be out there as well. So, and, and plus we need to do business ourselves, man. You're looking at this team. <laughs> like, funnily enough, if you, well, no matter what you make of Pogba, if you take him out of that midfield, just travel to, to Asia, it's shit, bro. It's shit. Someone said, um, you know, 
it's like a championship midfield if you take Pogba out of it. Are they really wrong? Do you know what I'm saying? And that's not me looking at the media circus that's around him and how he's, how he's been perceived at the club right now. I'm just talking about ability. If you take Pogba out of that midfield, Herrera's gone. Obviously, Fellaini was obviously gone ages ago. You look at it, it's bang average. So, you know, we're not looking to go Asia and get get pumped up by flipping Perth Glory and that. We're not at all. So, yeah, for me, I'm glad he's on the plane. Um, and it would be interesting to see how he plays as well. Is he going to be applying himself? It would be interesting to see how he trains. I don't, I, even if he was training bad, I, I know you're probably not going to get reports from Oli in, in his press conference that, oh, well, Pogba could be doing a bit more in training. He's not. So I suppose we'll never know. There might be little rumours from the press and stuff. But um, it's, it's going to be interesting to see how he performs. Does he play in the first game? What sort of condition is he in? And all that kind of stuff. So for me, I'm happy to see him on the plane with the rest of the squad because it shows that we're not just a joke. We're not just a joke of the club. That would that would have made us look an absolute laughing stock if he wasn't on the plane, put it that way. Yeah, I get that. You, he wants to leave. The club wants to sell him. But you don't just do an Arnautovic and say, cool, we've left him at home training with the kids, mate. Um, anyone comes in for him, just let him go. We're Man United, man. Yes, we haven't been acting like a big football club, but we, we, we need to start. And for me, Pogba being on the tour is the right thing to do. Let me know what you guys think. Now, on to where I'm going. Like I said, I'm not on a road trip to Old Trafford. I am on an old, tri uh, old, old trip. I'm on a road trip to Heathrow Airport, man, going on tour. And it's a big thing, not just for me, but for the channel, man, most importantly. I mean, the United Stand, it's the first tour that we're doing. We're going to speak to fans at all corners um, of the globe, man, pretty much it, with, with this. I get to speak to fans um, from, from near and far every week, which is fantastic going to games in this country and Europe. But I really feel with this trip, it will really show and, you know, reach those fans who you know don't get to see Man United every week and I'm, I'm buzzing to, to speak to them we've got a lot of content coming up um, I know all, all of you guys said you can't wait to see the vlogs and stuff like that I'm gonna be doing daily vlogs you're not gonna be seeing me every day on your screens or whatever you lot are watching on yeah for like three and a half weeks yeah you lot know what our vlogs are like um, when we do European away days um, they're gonna be a little bit shorter than that but we're gonna have daily because obviously it's every day but there's so much exciting stuff that we're going to be doing. Obviously, we're going to be doing the fan cams at every match um, in, in Singapore, China. Um, then we then we leave. In fact, we go to Perth, which is where we're going now. Two games, Perth Glory and Leeds. Then we go to Singapore. Um, I think that's Inter Milan. And then we go to China and then that's Tottenham. Could be the other way around, I can't remember. Um, and then we leave, we leave uh, China, come back to England for a couple of days. Then we're off to Norway covering that. And then we come back for a couple of days, then we're off to Cardiff because we're playing AC Milan. So super, super busy, super um, excited as well. We've got so much content coming for you lot, man. Mark's going to be keeping it 100 with all of the content as usual at home. He'll be doing the watch-alongs for all of the matches. Um, so you lot make sure you get involved in that. And also he'll be doing your transfer daily stuff as well. And you're going to get, um, obviously, like I said, daily content from me as well. If you're out there in any of these places, I know I've, had, I've received so many messages. Like That's another thing. I'm like so humbled and shocked at the amount of messages I've received from people far and wide, from all literally all of the places that I'm visiting, saying, let's meet up. These are the places to go. There's a big fan thing going on here. So if you're out there in, in Australia, and you're coming to the games, get at me on, on Twitter, um, and get at the channel, we're gonna be around, we'll be posting up where we are, make sure you come and find us, have a chat with us. Um, if you're out there in Singapore, Shanghai, um, likewise, Norway, um, and Cardiff as well, you know when the time's there, where we're there, make sure you reach out to us, man, because that's what this is all about. Um, we're not just going there to um, make it a formality and you know, regular fan cams outside the game, just talking to a couple of fans and put videos up. That's not what we're trying to do. We're really trying to speak to as many people as possible about United, um, not just at the games, you know, not just at the games, because not everyone can make it to the game. So we'll be in and around all, the, all, all these cities um, and really looking forward to it, man. Um, so keep it locked. Um, and by the way, we are very close to 500,000 subscribers. We're about, I think we're about 9,000 short of that, 10,000 on the road to it. The growth of this channel has just been unbelievable. Unbelievable, I, I cannot believe it. Um, it'll be great, it'll be great to um, maybe reach 500K whilst we're on tour. I mean, imagine that, that would be amazing, man. So keep sharing the channel, keep subscribing, keep liking the videos. Um, and, and keep pushing and supporting, man. I wouldn't have got this far if it wasn't for you guys. Get at me, Flex UTD, right? My Instagram stories are going to be just, you know, them little white dots that are at the top. Yeah, there's going to be loads of them. I'm going to be in your face. I probably, do you know what? By the end of it, you're probably going to be sick of me. 
far, I've been seeing flex every day. Um, so make sure you at me, um, get at me on the socials, on Instagram and Twitter, Flex UTD, yeah? Go and do that now. And make sure you're following the United Stand on Twitter and Instagram as well. I'm gonna be doing Instagram Lives on the United Stand as well, which is United Stand TV and um, the United Stand MUFC, I think it is, on Twitter. Make sure you guys are following both those platforms. We're gonna be doing lives on all of them and speaking to you lot from Perth and, and all the other um, places where we're at. So I will see you guys on the other side. Drop a like on the video, subscribe. If you're not subscribed, make sure you share. Um, and put your, put your comments, put your views um, in, the, in the boxes below, man. I'm going to be talking about a lot of stuff. But in this one, talk about the Pogba thing. Let me know what you think. Should he or should he have not been on that plane? I think he should have. Um, but that's what it's about, man. It's about voicing your opinion. You might disagree with me on that. Wish me a safe flight. 16 hours and 45 minutes. Jesus. I've got my iPad. Um, I've downloaded Stranger Things season three. I've watched when, when, um, when they see us. I've seen that already. I've downloaded Shaft. Um, I've got a lot of things to watch actually. If you've got any more, drop them in the views in the comments below. Let me know what to watch on the plane and I'll see you guys on the other side. Peace.